What is up, boils and ghouls? JT here. Figured I would go out and do a little hunting today. Of course, um, got to keep it safe, get the COVID mask. Some Black Friday deals are out. Uh, my wife picked up a few. I need to get a little holder here for the car for my phone. Yeah, I know some Black Friday deals are out, so I might go try to hit up Walmart and check those out. I kind of want to get some of the Masters of the Universe figures. I don't, um, I don't think they're out for sale or anything, but I've uh, been eyeballing them for a couple weeks, and I just need to pull the trigger on it. Really, would like to get those and uh, see what else they can find. I know some of the WalMarts have the Ghostbusters figures, and I just never did get those. Those are really cool. So let's go see what we can find. First destination here, Wally World. Always check the t-shirt section, you never know what you might find. Some Halloween. Probably gonna have to get that maybe. Friends, Dragon Ball Z. Ice Cube, today was a good day. The boys in the hood, always hard. Deadpool. That's what we got on the other side here. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Ghostbusters t-shirt. Who are you gonna call? Somebody else, because I'm not gonna buy that t-shirt. 374 selection movies. Pretty good price. Probably not much in here that I don't already have. This is a pretty good one, Overlord. Hmm, I wonder if that's supposed to be 374. If so, I might pick that up. Heard it suck, but I'd still kind of like to see it. The Nun, I think that's part of the Conjuring series. Ninja Turtles, Michael Bay, crap. Monster movie mashup. What's this guy? Now Living Dead, Count Dracula, and his Wonderful Wives. Snow Beast, that's a cool one. Probably gonna get that as well. Some Black Friday deals here. DVDs. Pick this up on DVD, but should have got the Blu ray. I might get the Blu ray as well. Hunt. The Hunt. That's a pretty good one. Always check your end caps here. We got some good stuff. Tick. The complete series for five bucks. Actually, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. We'll find out if that one's five. Now, the animated series, not the complete animated series. Only a couple episodes of it. I'd like to have the complete series of that. Of that. There's another tick. It's ten bucks. Looks like so. I'm probably gonna pass on that one. A couple kind of sold out here, but we got. Couple horror titles for five bucks. The Witch. Nothing good there. Let's check the horror. It used to be the horror section over here. Looks like they've changed it a little bit. This is kind of cool for seven fifty, but already got it on Blu-ray. Cool little slipcase for that. I don't know what the cover looks like. The same. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Too cool for school. Abbott and Costello, some westerns. Got these cool Batman figures. Man Bat, Killer Croc. It's a really cool series. Got the He-Man figures here. I still don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger. Battle Cat. I want them so bad, but 14 bucks. I'm like, I don't know. I have to think about it. 
Transformers. Baby Yoda. Godzilla vs. King Kong figures look pretty weak. Kind of plasticky. I don't know. Think about the email. Alright, so we made it back. Uh, try not to stay out too long or be around too many people because of COVID. But I did pick up, went there looking for toys. Thinking about getting He-Man figures and ended up getting some movies. <laughs> but, you know, I'll eventually pull the trigger on those He-Man figures. Maybe, maybe they'll be, uh, well, you know, maybe I can catch them on eBay or something cheaper a little bit later on. 14 bucks, this is quite a bit for, for a movie. I mean, for a, 14 bucks is kind of a bit for a, a stupid bogging off. Yeah, 14 bucks is too much for uh, a figure. I did pick up, I was gonna save these for the next DVD update, but I think I have enough um, between what my wife picked up the other day to do another update. So I'll probably just do this. The way it's not a wasted video, we'll, we'll uh, capture what all I picked up in there a second ago. But anyways, let's take a look at what we got inside. Yeah. We have, uh, what's this called? Seven classic horror monsters. Monster movie mashup. And it has Not a Living Dead, which you, I have 5,000 copies of. I'm sure everybody does. I say all this stuff's public domain, but there is a few on here that I wanted to see. Uh, Count Dracula and his Vampire Brides. Christopher Lee, I'm pretty sure I got that several times over as well. Now, Nightmare Castle, I don't think I have that one. And I uh, wanted to see that for a while. Nightmare Castle. Uh, the Devil's Nightmare. No, I don't know anything about that one, but 1971 looks like it could be a good time. The She Beast. It's got Barbara Steele. I don't think I've seen the Sea the the Sea the She Beast either. Snow Beast. Pretty sure I got that one in a pack somewhere. The one I really wanted to see in here was the Werewolf versus Vampire one. That's a Paul Nashy. I think they say his name film he done a lot of a lot of movies and uh, a lot of werewolf stuff and kind of want to watch that one, werewolf versus the vampire one so this is for three bucks it's worth the price of admission that'd be a good late night cuddle up on the couch and watch some some of those next up here i heard nothing good about this one really but i wanted to see it now i seen the one that came out before it uh, we got two crappy critters movies pretty much almost back to back this is critters attack yeah, Critters for three bucks, you know. Got Dee Wallace coming back in. It looks like she might be a bounty hunter in there. So that is pretty cool. I will give this a watch just because it's Critters. I love all things Critters. Yeah, Critters attacks. Um, I think this, I don't know if this was the one. This is rated R, so I don't know if this was a sci-fi channel made one. And I watched um, the one that was on Shudder. But that wasn't this one. I can't remember what this one was, the other one was called. But yeah, Critters, three bucks. I will check it out. Probably not good, but love the Critters films growing up. So, you know, why not? so next up, I was super happy to find this one. I actually haven't seen this yet. I know I'm behind because it's been out forever. That is Three from Hell, Rob Zombie, tying up all the loose ends of the House of a Thousand Corpses series, I guess, Devil's Rejects. I heard mixed stuff on this one too, but it looks fun to me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know Sid Hag was, you know, sick and dying, and he was on his deathbed basically, and heard that they had to cut him out and all this uh, stuff. But I still can't wait to watch this. It looks fun with the Mexico Day of the Dead kind of stuff. I don't know. It, I think it would be fun. I love Devil's Rejects and uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and anything Rob Zombie does. Everybody can say what they want, but Rob Zombie is one of the last people that's making what he wants to make at least uh, horror movie wise and he's had some hits, some misses you know Halloween 2 sucked and I just feel like he didn't really want to make that one but you know the rest of his stuff's been pretty solid Lords of Salem eh, I don't know about but you know 
he does what he wants. He has a vision. He has an artistic vision, and that's more than you can say for anybody else that does horror stuff nowadays. But you know, three from that's enough for Rob Zombie rant. Three from Hell. Can't wait to check this one out. They had the Blu-ray too. It was five bucks. That one was only three, so I was like, I'll just get it on DVD because I don't have House of a Thousand Corpses or Devil's Rejects on Blu-ray either. So I figured keep the set DVD um, while I can. That makes sense. Maybe upgrade to Blu-ray eventually. And this next one, this is kind of a bummer what happened to this, but I really wanted to see it. I didn't have the DC Network, and this is Swamp Thing. This is the last pickup of this bunch. Um, Swamp Thing, the complete first season or another complete series i guess since it only lasted one season which sucks because i was looking forward to this it looked awesome from the previews i'm a huge swamp thing fan always have been as a kid return of swamp thing was one of my favorite movies so i, I hope this doesn't end with any cliffhangers or anything like that it probably does since they didn't know it was getting canceled but you know the stories behind why it got canceled is crazy so yeah, I can't wait to watch this. I'm probably gonna go home and pop this in as soon as I get home. Swamp Thing, the complete series. But that's all picked up in there. It's a pretty good deal. It's $3 for most of that stuff. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do that all day long. Got another update, another stuff, uh, Black, no, blah, blah, blah. But another Black Friday haul update coming as well with uh, an unboxing of some stuff I got coming in the mail. So stay tuned for that, but thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.